Hi everyone, I'm Danisa Nganyani and welcome to the world of stories. Today I'm joined by Jabuli Lesindane, who's going to be sharing her story of forgiveness with us. Jabulile recently obtained her Master's in Environmental Management from the University of Pretoria. And you understand later in our conversation why that factor was important to mention right from the beginning. Jabulile, welcome. Thank you so much. It's so exciting to finally see you again after how many years? Yo, it's been, I don't know, it's been more than five years. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> it's and been actually, so long. Jablin is one of my, um, one of the ladies that I, I met back um, at the where, university yes. and church that, at the local church that we went to mm -hmm. back there in varsity. And um, she's been one lady who's passionate about writing. I don't know why she's not yet written a book, okay. but I'm hoping she will do it <laughs> later. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but Jablin, I want you to tell the viewers about yourself. Okay. So um, the first thing I want to say um, is that I am a child of God mm -hmm. and uh, I am an environmental scientist by profession. Um, I also have my own YouTube channel yes. focusing on brave expressions and life lessons. And um, I also have, uh, I'm a blogger. Yes. So yes, I have a blog where I share inspirational messages and yes. all of that. And most importantly, I have my own uh, empowerment campaign mm. called New Strength, where I engage with different ladies from different um, aspects and experiences of life. Mm. So basically, that's what I am all about. I'm a daughter. Yes, and I'm a friend, I'm a sister, mm. and yeah, that's that's all that I can share. I think your profile is great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank at, you so at much. At your age, mm -hmm. your, your profile is great, <laughs> and I just love the fact that you decided to establish quite a lot of campaigns yes. and, you know, everything that you're busy with, and I mm -hmm. hope our listeners will understand why you had to do that. Oh, yes. So why forgiveness? Why this topic? I think um, the topic of forgiveness is very close to my heart mm. uh, based on my past experiences. So I, I chose this topic because um, I feel like it speaks to where I've been, yeah. where I am now, when, where I'm going. Because forgiveness is, is a continual process of life. You yeah. never stop forgiving people. You never ask, stop asking for forgiveness. Mm. And also because of... Um, my experience of childhood abuse mm. that I got to face in my own home, mm. you know, a space where that I regarded as safe turned out to be very uh, disturbing for me growing up. Mm. So this topic is very important for me because um, I feel like forgiveness is life giving mm. and we should create many platforms, in fact, yeah. to discuss issues of forgiveness. Mm. Yes. Um, if, if you're comfortable enough, I would like you to, you know, take us through the story of what happened in your childhood yes. that led you to choosing this topic, basically. Yes. Okay. So I was not raised by my parents. Mm. I was raised by my grandparents. Mm. So it was a lovely home. Um, you know, we had everything that we wanted. My grandfather was a very supportive man. Mm. Uh, but um, my cousin um, decided to start abusing me um, emotionally and sexually mm. and during those years i knew that you know this is wrong mm. this doesn't feel good and i feel like you know it's not supposed to be happening yeah but i experienced that throughout my childhood years and um never told anyone about it mm. i would cry myself to sleep you know had um, a lot of anger mm. inside, you know, they used to call me a moody child, you know? Yeah, yeah like she doesn't play, she's moody and all yeah. of that. But nobody knew what mm. was going on. Nobody knew the nightmares that I had and also the trauma, yeah. you know? Nobody knew about it. I kept it to myself for many years mm. until I decided to speak out and actually create platforms like my YouTube channel mm. to speak out and help other women out there. Mm. Yeah, so basically that's what happened to me. Um... And it inspired me to sort of like be the person that I am today. Yeah. Only God knows why it happened. Mm. But I'm grateful that through it all, mm. I never lost that touch with myself. Mm. I never blamed God. Mm. And I never blamed myself. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to, you know, to 
take you back to this experience because mm -hmm. you know as you're explaining it um i i don't understand your experience i've not been through it okay i can only understand it through your message yes so i may be making you relive the experience that you could be trying to forget okay but i would i know that there's quite a lot of people who went through what you went through yes and um they have not yet gained enough courage to mm -hmm. come out and talk about it yes uh, but but it's affecting them mm -hmm. so so you know what what impact did this unfortunate circumstance have on you as you were growing up into yes. adulthood yes i think the first thing that i can mention is you know the self-esteem because mm. You grow up. You grow up thinking there's something wrong with me. Yeah. I want to put it out there in plain, simple. Like mm. I grew up thinking that I was dirty. You yeah. know, because I was seeing things that I wasn't supposed to see, uh, to see, and mm. all of that. So my confidence levels were like very, very low. Mm. And the only thing that made me, and has gave me like hope and mm. the courage to keep going were my books mm. because that sort of like gave me confidence that you know i'm doing something right you mm. know i'm part of something bigger than myself and all of that mm. but confidence wise i suffered mm. secondly in terms of relationships you mm. know because the person that did this to me was someone i regarded as family you yeah. know someone that I, I thought i could trust yes and now you grow up and you meet different people you have to engage with people and now you turn out to have trust issues because yeah. you like to can i trust this person mm. you know so you always try to look out for yourself mm. and in in trying to do that you end up pushing pe put other people away from you and yeah. you suffer in terms of like be able being able to come up to have like healthy relationships with other people and so on mm. you know so i think those are the two things that mm. you know really like i felt you know i need to sort out my past issues because if not I'm going to struggle in life, self-confidence wise and establishing meaningful relationships. Mm. Yeah. And um, I think it's, you know, you, you went through a traumatic experience, mm -hmm. um, a difficult experience for someone at your age then. Yeah. And it, it probably took a lot of courage for you to decide yeah. that I have to forgive this person. Yes. Because often people who do such things hardly ask for forgiveness. They don't. Or, or never yeah actually. or never like they just move on with their lives like nothing happened yeah yeah sadly so so how how did you get to a point whereby you realize that you you need to forgive this person like mm. did you have to approach them okay. and you know as and, and and ask them to you know ask, ask for forgiveness. forgiveness yeah or did you just have to do mm. it in, in your own space that like, yeah. you know i'm just letting it go i'm forgiving this person even though they never ask for forgiveness okay so what really happened was um i finished my trick mm. back home in bumalanga mm. moved to pretoria and when i got to pretoria i was away from family yeah. i was away from a familiar environment mm. i had to face myself yeah. you know i had to face my fears and all of that and everything started from church yes you know a space where they taught so much about forgiveness why it's so important every single sunday i would go and they would talk about forgiveness and forgiveness and forgiveness mm. and i remember sitting there and, and thinking to myself maybe this is what i need mm. you know this maybe this is what i need for myself to move on because i felt like i had tried out so many things mm. to feel better mm. and not that i'm developing other people's professions and whatnot but i went to counseling and mm. it didn't work for me i went you know mm. and i was like god i'm here in your house now i need help yeah and the only thing i could hear was forgiveness 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 mm. so i spoke to my pastor then and i said you know what there's this particular situation that I experienced in my life. Mm. How can I sort it out? Mm. And he said to me, forgive the person. Mm. Just forgive them. I'm like, how do I forgive them? Because they've never asked for forgiveness. It's like, yeah. you initiated because Jabu, it's for you. Yes. It's not for them, mm. you know. And from that conversation, I was like, I'm going to do it now. Because mm. I don't want to wait longer and then start double thing i mean start doubting myself and mm. start you know regretting my decision and whatnot so mm. i decided you know what i'm gonna talk to my parents they must try and get this guy to our house mm. so i call my dad i'm like you know what happened mm. i told you everything mm. so can you please ask him to come to our house if not can you please go and fetch him mm. so my dad went did so and 
we had the family meeting whatever it's called we sat there and i said to him you know what um i forgive you mm. and you've never asked for forgiveness you've never said anything to me you've never but you know mm. that what you did to me was wrong so so what what was his response then if you do yeah. remember he said to me he said to me I'm sorry I was young. Mm. And I said to me, that's my point. Mm. You were young. Mm. How come were you thinking of doing something so bad? Something so at young Yeah, at such a young age. Mm. How did you even think about that? Mm. And he said to me, I'm sorry. I'm like, it took you so long to come and talk to me like this. Mm. You know, so I'm doing this now for myself mm. because I need to move on with my life. And I feel like God has something special for me mm. that I need to fulfill. And I, need, I don't want to spend my life with this anger inside of me. I don't mm. want to, you know, go through life just trying to survive. I want to live my life. Yeah. I want to enjoy my life. Mm. So I forgive you. Mm. And when I said that, Dennis, I felt a huge burden mm. just lifting off my shoulders. And I felt I did something right. Yeah. And for me, you know. And also what was very good about that whole experience is that when I forgave him, I was able to forgive myself yeah. also for not speaking out, mm. for not saying anything about it, for not, I don't know. I just felt I needed to forgive myself. And most importantly, I forgave my parents yes. because there was always this thing inside of me. Like you guys were supposed to be there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would look at my dad, you know, when he's watching TV and mm. you look at him and you're like, you were supposed to be there. You were supposed to protect me. You're supposed, you know, mm. I would have these conversations inside of me all the time when I look at my parents. Mm. And at that moment, mm. I spoke to them. And so I'm like, you know what, guys? I love you. Yeah. You guys, you've always wanted the best for me. Mm. But unfortunately, things happened the way that they did. Mm. So it's fine. Mm. I forgive you. Um, what's your message of hope to somebody out there who may have went through um, similar experience mm -hmm. or they are struggling with mental health issues? Yes. I think what I can say is, you know, you need to acknowledge mm -hmm. that you have a problem. Yes. But and that problem can be fixed. Yes. You know, the first thing that one can consider is getting help mm. from different places mm. you know there is um, medical professions mm. that allow you to consult you can go to a doctor mm. and, and 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 just tell them about your experience you mm. know because I know with me I always had this prolonged feeling of sadness mm. you know even mm. when I I had good things going on for me yeah I just couldn't be happy mm. you know I would be happy for that particular moment when I meet people, you know, surroundings and all of that. Mm. But once I'm alone, it's like, you know, something just comes and, you know, you feel so lost yeah. and you feel so empty inside of you. Mm. Then last year, mm. um, lockdown level five came and locked us in mm. to really face ourselves and really figure out, you know, where we lacking and yes. whatnot and what can we do to improve our own lives mm. and that's when i decided to go to a doctor mm. i spoke to him about my situation he said you know what it's okay mm. it's a medical condition yes. it can be fixed mm. i'm prescribing medication for you to take and i'm telling you mm. you're going to be fine mm. and me going to a doctor was not a thing of devaluing god's yeah. intervention and whatnot because sometimes you you know, you think about it like, okay, I'm going to a doctor, but you know, but God, God yeah. always sends help Amen. in different ways, in different, you know, routes and all of that. Mm. So for you is to receive mm. and use the help that is available. Mm. And also you must remember someone went to school yes. <laughs> for a very long time mm. to become a doctor so mm. you can get help. Amen. So appreciate those services and make good use of it. Mm. Secondly, I think it's also important to... Find someone that you can trust yeah. and talk to. Mm. For me, it has always been my sister. Mm. So when I said to her, you know what, baby girl, I have a problem. Mm. And I think she's like, sure, sure. She's like, no, but you look fine. I'm like, no. <laughs> it's not about, fine. yeah, you look, but you look fine. I'm like, it's not about looking fine. It's not about, I'm telling you right now, mm. I'm not feeling well. Mm. And she's been my best friend. Mm. You know, she would listen to me. She would cry with me. We would laugh about it sometimes mm. and all of that. You know, so find someone you can trust. Mm. Someone you know that you can open up to. Yes. You know, don't 
feel as if you are not doing enough about it because you're not posting about it mm. no you don't have to post to prove that i mean you don't have to prove anything to anyone yes whatever you feel comfortable with mm. just do it mm. a friend it can be someone from church or work or at home your parents mm. whoever mm. that you can talk to mm. find that person identify that person and make time to just sit down and talk to them mm. i'm telling you as time goes you'll be fine yes and also what also helped me a lot was running you mm. know staying active mm. always in the morning i wake up and do my 5km and all sorts of things so make sure you take care of your body because you yes. need to feel good about yourself mm. you, know, you need to feel good about yourself you need to feel happy about yourself mm. so do whatever you can start eating healthy maybe explore different ideas run do your squats whatever you feel comfortable with mm. i'm telling you as time goes mm. you will become better mm. also there's different organizations that offer services for people who struggle with mental health yeah and all of that but for me i've established a campaign mm. called new strength yes so basically it's a it's an empowerment campaign for a multi-targeting women you mm. know women that have suffered any form of abuse can mm. be physical abuse or any kind of abuse mm. so we meet up on like by monthly basis we sit down we talk about issues mm. ranging from faith healing you know living healthy yes. making proper decisions in life relationships mm. career advice and all sorts of things mm. so ah uh, it's a safe space that i've created mm. for other women out there because growing up i've always had this thing of i wish i had someone to talk to you know yes. i wish i had someone to talk to i wish someone had asked me jay are you okay mm. you know but then i started thinking about it last year i was like i couldn't get that yes. for myself i think now is the best time to give it to someone else amen so I offer the services like free of charge, mm. you know, and uh, when I'm with them, it always feels like the best time of my life. Mm. So if you're out there and you want to join my campaign, mm. you can go onto Instagram, look for Jamile Sindane, um, send me a DM yes. and we'll take it from there. Yes. Yeah. So, and I also have uh, my YouTube channel. Yes. It's very, yes. very like, <laughs> it's very close to my heart. So on my YouTube channel, that's where you'll get the full story of what really happened. Yes. Um, with my uh, experience of childhood abuse mm. and other mm. beautiful and uh, inspiring messages for you to live the best life that you were destined for. Mm. Yeah. Please subscribe to her channel. Um, it's Jabli Lesindani. Jabli right? Lesindani. Yes. yes. So please, as you subscribe to my channel go to her channel as well mm -hmm. you'll get to understand her story better yes. and other people's stories as well yes she was actually one of my inspiration when it came to starting a youtube channel by oh, the way thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> thank so you. so as as you were um taking us through um you know the message of hope for mm -hmm. people who are struggling i just remembered um something from my book okay um it's actually one of my quotes in the book it says okay. you a lot of us sink in places that we're supposed to float yes. simply because we don't allow ourselves to ask for help yes. or we don't come to terms with the fact that we need help. Yes. You know, we mm -hmm. allow our ego to stand on the way, mm -hmm. we allow our pride yeah. to dictate terms mm -hmm. for us. Your status, exactly, you know, all sorts of things, yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. or, or your Christianity as exactly. well, because you just be like, yeah. okay, I'm a Christian, I can't mm -hmm. have mental health issues. No ways, I'm mm -hmm. a prayer warrior, you know? You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and, and you mm -hmm. forget that you're human at the end mm -hmm. of the day and things could happen. Yeah. Um, to an extent that you get overwhelmed mm -hmm. and you just need help exactly mm -hmm. so i'm actually happy that you you know you 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 emphasized on the fact that people need to accept yes. that they need help and go out mm -hmm. there and look for help and i'm telling you you're going to learn a lot of things about yourself mm -hmm. with me when i was when i started taking my vacation exercising you know mm -hmm. watching inspirational messages spending time with people that i love mm -hmm. i learned that i can love so freely yes. and receive love so freely you yeah. understand what i mean yeah. i learned to be vulnerable in mm -hmm. love and and not always think no this person is going to hurt me or they have their own hidden agenda or whatnot mm -hmm. i was freely giving love and that experience really like had a very huge impact in my life mm -hmm. yeah i would like you to pray for our um, viewers mm -hmm. and after that you will share your favorite scripture okay so pray for them first then you share your favorite That's scripture good. yes yes okay. so i want you to pray for those who maybe uh who went through similar experiences or those who are battling with mental health okay. issues 
or somebody uh, who's close to someone who went through mm. similar experiences yeah. and feel like maybe I should reach out to help that person. Yes. So I want you to pray for them because we, we, we are Christians. We understand yes. that there is help elsewhere. Yeah. But we also understand the fact that it needs yes. to start in prayer. Yes. So Everything starts in prayer. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So please initiate their miracle, you know, through your prayer. Yes. Okay, we can close our eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Father Lord, Thank you so much for this day. Yes, Lord. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Yes. We know and we understand that you made it all possible. Yes. For myself, for Danisa, and for every single person who's out there watching this video right yes. now. You know, Lord, where we have all been. Yes, you know Lord. our struggles, you know our highs and lows. But most of all, you know that we can conquer. Yes, because Lord. the Bible says we are more than conquerors. Yes. And now for that reason, Lord... There's someone out there, mm. they have mental health struggles, you know, problems in their homes and at school and wherever, Lord. Yes. Meet us at our needs, Lord. Amen. Change our lives. Intervene, Holy Spirit. We are trusting in you. We are calling unto you because you know what is best for us. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we might not have all the answers to everything that has happened in our lives. Mm. But Lord, we truly believe that you want us to live a fulfilling life mm -hmm. going forward. And now for that reason, we continue to invite you in our spirits, in our homes, Lord. Yes, because Lord. we are trusting in you. Yes, you will always be with us every single step, in every single way you continue to bless us. Mm -hmm. So we thank you, Lord, and we honor you. We say that, Lord, for everyone who's out there, I'm praying for them. That God, may you open their eyes. Yes, Lord. May you give them opportunities that they've been praying for, mm -hmm. jobs that they've been longing for for the longest time. I say that, Lord, this year, may you turn their lives around. Going forward, may you bless them abundantly. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. 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 Thank you so much. Um, Thank you, Danisa. Before I let you go, please share your favorite scripture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My favorite scripture is Philippians 3 verse 14. Yes. It says, I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. So that scripture has been with me mm -hmm. in my heart for the longest time from my Sunday school days, mm -hmm. you know. And I love this scripture because it always reminds me that God is always up to something good. Amen. And now my responsibility is to just remind myself mm -hmm. that, hey, God, things might not be going as I expect them to, yes. but you know the bigger picture. Amen. You know, we serve a God who knows the bigger picture. Yes. So this scripture says, every single morning, mm. I press on. Mm. I wake up and I press on towards that goal yes. that God has placed for me to reach. Mm -hmm. And he will give me enough strength, mm. enough resources, yes. and the people that I need for Amen. me to get there. Amen. So now, it's, it's, it's one of the reasons why I named my campaign New Strength. Mm. Because I believe that God gives us new strength, new mercies every single morning. Amen. For us is to stay in touch with that. Mm. For us is to pray for wisdom and strength to mm. stay in touch with the beautiful things that God is doing and about to do in our lives. Amen. Yes. You just actually reminded me of a scripture in the book of Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. It says, as your days are so shall your strength be. Amen. So Amen. that means that we have strength for each and every day. Yes. New strength, like you every say. Every single day. So I am a fan of your campaign. Amen. And I want it <laughs> to change lives. Like I'm rooting yeah. for you. I want it to change Thank lives. You so much. I want you to impact the world. And I want you to, you know, take up space and yeah. do what God has called you to Thank do. Thank you so much. Earth. I'm really, really happy to hear that. Thank you for, you know, allowing me to do the interview with you. Okay. Letting you read with your experiences. Yes, it's but, a pleasure. But but we, we, we know because we're Christians that we're not just doing this, you know, to just share our um, sad stories. Yes. But this is for encouragement, this is exactly. for hope. Yes. This is to tell somebody out there of what God is able mm. to do. Like we said, there's no shadow God wouldn't light up, there's no mountain he wouldn't God light up. up. Yes. You know, coming after yes. us. someone had came to me when I was in grade one mm. and said to me, you know what, Jay, um, one day you're going to be a scientist. Mm. One day you're going to run a campaign to yeah. empower other women. One day you're going to have your own blog, YouTube mm. and so forth. I wasn't going to believe that, yeah. honestly, because I thought, you know, this is my life. I live a sad life. Mm. I don't know what is happening. 
I don't know why this guy is doing this to me, mm. but because God is faithful, Amen. I'm here today, and I'm thankful for every turn and twist of things. Amen. Because everything that happened made this moment possible for me. Amen. So if you're out there and you think nothing is is, is possible for you, think again. You Amen. can achieve anything that you set your mind, your heart, and your prayer into. Amen. Yes. Thank you so much for such inspiring words and, you know, such great words of encouragement to the people who went through similar experiences yes. or, you know, something said that yes. you don't even know about. Yes. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. It's a pleasure. For being vulnerable. Yes. On the screen. <laughs> it <even>. feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And Thank you to all of our viewers and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe button. And Jabli <laughs> listen to this channel as well. Please. Please. As you subscribe to mine, go to hers as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for tuning in. We love you and God bless you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Yes. Got Perfect. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you.